Uh, hi everyone, my name is Se Qian Dong from Swinburne University of Technology, Australia. Today, my uh, report topic is Paramount Enabling Hierarchical Neural Network with HAI, Edge Computing. Uh, in my presentation, I will introduce the motivation and background of our work, the overview of the Paramount and the component in our framework. To begin with, when talking about the edge, we have to identify the difference between the edge and the cloud-based AI. The cloud is a cluster of powerful servers that accommodate very powerful uh, computing power. Uh, there, therefore, it's, it is evident that the cloud computing could process heavy workload AI tasks, for example, deep learning-based neural networks. However, uh, putting the workload only on the cloud server has many drawbacks. The first drawback is the high latency. Uh, usually, the latency between the device and the cloud server can vary from 50 milliseconds to 1,000 milliseconds when processing real-time tasks like traffic predictions or some like uh, weather predictions. Uh, cloud computing would face a significant weakness of this latency. The second challenge is that uh, standard centralized DN architecture will only process one task at a time. Uh, because there are only one model in the DN task, so it cannot process multiple tasks in, a mo uh, in the same time. And the third challenge, challenge is that the cloud-based uh, computing would face significant data during the training process. It will be harder to train because it has to extract more features from a, a numerous data set. In contrast, the HAI, the H server, have typical relative low and even non-delay, uh, thanks to the 5G and the IoT. Uh, thus, in the real-time tasks, the H server have more advantage in model inference. Moreover, H server have relative high computing resource compared with other end devices like mobile phones and laptops. They have much more uh, computing power, so hence is uh, capable to produce, to, to utilize the H server to uh, do some deep learning based application because this kind of application is really uh, uh, computing a resource costing. And besides the benefit of HAI, our framework, the Paramin, would initiate multiple different tasks simultaneously and extract feature from the different level of data to achieve higher prediction performance. In this page, you can see there are two maps indicate how the edge cloud environment is assembled. Furthermore, figure A shows that the edge server could extract extract local feature more precisely because it directly interacts with own local VDS and video detected stations, each sensor. Um, and since the server will not collect the data from other edge servers, it will be much easier to train and customize its model towards the local features. In comparison, uh, figure B shows the cloud server could manage uh, larger scale features more accurately because it could discover the correlation between uh, the connected edge servers. Now I will give you the overview of the Paramount. The Paramount is a DN framework between the edge and the cloud servers. The edge server train local learner to collect the local raw data, for example, the local traffic data local weather data, the so local some other kind of data, and generate the local prediction. And the cloud server trains the local or the cloud learner to collect uh, the process data from the local server and generate the global prediction. So there are two kind of uh, two kind of prediction, one local and one global prediction. Uh, they will be produced simultaneously. And um, what worth mentioning is that the DNN, in the DNN, many feature extraction have the same effect in the initial layers that it is not worth it to process those layers in the cloud server again. Um, processing the intermediate data, which is the data that's sent from the local server, the local edge server, would be conducive since it uh, include more local features that you cannot obtain when you gather all the raw data altogether in the cloud server. 
and the local learner consists, uh, the, I will introduce the component, the local uh, learner consists of multiple temporal and spatial blocks that could extract temporal and spatial feature between uh, the different VDS in the local area. The final temporal layer data will pass into the a fully connect layer to generate the local prediction. Meanwhile, the temporal block data will also be sent into the cloud server for further prediction, that is global prediction. And the global learning have a similar structure as a local learner with multiple temporal and spatial blocks intersect. The main difference is that they have a transformer layer that right after the concatenate data layer. Because the age output usually does not fit the model in the global learner, and its layer also works to extract the correspond correlation between the different age servers. So we use mo multiple embedding metrics to align the data according to the adjacent metric between the load and the freeway. And that's the main difference, and it will finally create a global prediction in the global server. And as the result shows, it's very promising. All the local and global prediction are pretty well, and it show faster coverage uh, and lower latency when evaluate the inference. And that's all for the demonstration. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks, Zetian, for the talk. Do we have any questions? Uh, hello. Can I ask a question? Sure. Uh, good talk. And I have a question in that uh, you may, you, you say the DH servers are distributed across a city. So I wonder, uh, can you ensure the data of these each servers can uh, construct a global adjacent matrix or a global graph? Uh, I mean, uh, what if uh, there is some missed data between two edge servers, or what if there are some overlapping data between two edge servers? Is there a uh, oh, yeah. is this is a problem in your uh, learning system? Um, yeah, I to to my opinion, I think um, you just talk about uh, whether it use uh, the uh, a cloud, a centralized cloud model to accommodate all the uh, VDS, all the to, to do the local tasks, local prediction tasks. But in my uh, this framework, we are focused on to do different tasks. Uh, in the local server, we our task is more about predicting the uh, local road road uh, traffic, and in the uh, cloud server, uh, the framework is predicting the freeway. Uh, free freeway predictions. They are two kind. They are different kind of uh, predictions. Uh, so uh, of course, uh, the the cloud server could uh, do could initiate a local test, but it's not cost efficiency. And uh, since it have more data, it will uh, be much more slower uh, to get the feedback for the uh, local endpoint user. So that why that's a benefit of implement the AGI uh, to initiate to run the local prediction. 